In this video, we're gonna show you how to connect to your Raspberry Pi over VNC, AKA remote desktop. This is super useful if you do not have a physical connection to a monitor uh, for your Raspberry Pi. You're able to remotely connect to it and then pull up the GUI, which is the same thing you would see as if you were connecting directly to a monitor and you could drag and drop and click and interact with the operating system using that way. And we're gonna be using all free software, super easy to do let's get started okay so to connect over VNC we need to enable that on the Raspberry Pi so we're gonna do Raspberry or sorry Raspi con config and then we're gonna do interface options and then for VNC would you like the VNC server to be enabled yes so now when we try to connect through the VNC protocol to our Raspberry Pi device, the Raspberry Pi device has a server listening for inbound traffic. Okay, so to be able to view our uh, Raspberry Pi's actual GUI and desktop, we're gonna have to use a VNC client. Okay, so I'm gonna download real VNC and just make sure you're getting the viewer software. Looks like it works on all platforms, so. Should be able to use this for Windows as well. Okay, so I'm gonna put the address in here, which is using the IP address that we found. Uh, so this is a local terminal. If I do dig, ra uh, I'm sorry, the new, the, no, the new host name is Pi Refactored. All right, so I believe this is gonna be my IP address. Try this. Okay. And then we might have to adjust our local Mac settings so that we can actually control and um, screen share properly. not give that one all right so i'm just giving vnc okay and now you can see we're controlling um our actual raspberry pi so let's see here we're gonna set the country to united oh set the country to united states language is american english this one we want new york for me Use English language, use US keyboard. Set the country code and uh, language properly because there's some weird quirk with uh, Raspberry Pi where if you don't set it properly, I think Wi-Fi can be affected, so. Okay, so right here on the left, we have the VNC remote desktop connection where I can actually interface with the GUI. On, on the right, we have the SSH connection. And what I wanna show you is um, how the two correlate. So like if I navigate to the desktop and that's the um, directory being shown here, I can create a file, right? Touch test.txt. And you can see it shows up on the desktop. See, these are just two different ways to interface with the operating system. There's the GUI, and then there's the CLI, the command line utility. If you like this video, go ahead and click that like button so we can get it out to a wider audience. Thank you. And I just wanted to make a quick plug for all the other really interesting projects that you can do with Raspberry Pi. You can buy add-ons and extensions and modules that can do all sorts of things, GPS and uh, robotic arms and things like that. So there's a whole lot of things that you can do with Raspberry Pi and I'd urge you to take a look at some of that. And as always, if you want to stay apprised of the latest emerging tech around Google Cloud Platform, IoT, artificial intelligence, then go ahead and subscribe to this channel because we're releasing content around those topics on the regular. Thanks for listening.